Hey, this is Tommy Ellison, Marketing Director at Covington. And it seems like every year I get all excited when March Madness starts. And I thought I would do uh, a little something different to celebrate the season. You know, as most of you probably know, I am a magician. And I thought I would check out my psychic abilities to try to determine the winner of this year's bracket of 64 teams. Follow along with me and uh, let's just see what happens. It seems like every year in the March Madness bracket, there are great teams that come to play and this year is no exception. In fact, I've taken the four number one seeds. We have the Kansas University, we have Purdue University, the University of Houston, my hometown favorite, Alabama, first time to be a number one seed in many, many years. And then of course, every year there seems to be a Cinderella team that might just pop up on the grid and have an opportunity to win. So I thought I would use a little bit of my magical prognostication. And even though I'm shuffling the cards, I'm going to see if perhaps the cards will tell me who the winner might be when the bracket is played out and the opportunity comes to be the national champion of Division I basketball. In order to do this, I'm gonna lay five cards in one packet and then have one, two, three, four, five in the remaining packet. And the way we do this is very simple. I'm gonna do a little spelling with each packet. For instance, if I take this packet and I spell Will, W-I-L-L, -L, take two cards, one from each side, discard them. This time we'll say this packet, and I'll say the, we're spelling will the, T-H-E, and again, take two cards, one from each packet. And this time we'll do it a little different because I'll spell out teams. T, E, switch, A, M, F, and discard. One more time, will the teams match? And we'll spell M, A, T, C, H. Could this be any more random? Well, we'll discard that last group of two, and we'll see we have two remaining cards. And of course, in this case, the two remaining cards are the UH for the University of Houston. And that's what the cards seem to be telling me about my psychic ability to predict the future. But unfortunately, cards don't always tell the whole story because in some cases, it really is a toss up as to who might win in the bracket we have this year. So I wish all the teams good luck. And for you number one seeds, be sure you watch out for that Cinderella team that's always lurking in the wings to take you down. So much for magic so much for my psychic abilities. It looks to me like it could be a toss up as to who might win this year's national champion in division one.